Hi everyone, this is welcoming you back to Visa Pathfinder's channel. This is Johanko Sahid back on the platform and today we are looking at migration to Finland, particularly the study option at various levels for international students. So we're looking at this vis-a-vis -vis the lower budget choice, availability of a scholarship or financial aid, English proficiency requirements, the good acceptance rates as well as jobs afterwards. So. Please note that this video is made based on the information that is available to us at this point in time and it keeps getting updated periodically. If you're looking to migrate to the European Union and areas, the UK, Canada, Australia, US, New Zealand, among others, then you are the right place. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So let's get into business proper. Finland is a Nordic country in Northern Europe and it borders Sweden to the Northwest, uh, Norway to the North and Russia to the East. Finland has got a population of 5.6 million. So Helsinki is the capital and the largest city in Finland. Finnish and Swedish are the official languages. So there is a large proportion of the population that also speaks English. So the country's currency is the euro, is a member of the European Union, which is the EU, and belongs in the Schengen area, which also includes countries such as Italy, Germany, France, Austria, Czech Republic, Greece, Spain, Belgium, Poland, and Denmark. So the Schengen area is actually made up of 26 European countries, 22 of them belong in the EU. The Schengen area is an agreement to create a common entry and exit requirement in order to remove the need for internal borders. As long as Schengen area entry requirements are met, the agreement allows foreigners to travel freely between participating countries without usually having to go through border controls. Finland currently has got 46 universities. And um, these universities are offering undergraduate, postgraduate courses or programs taught in different languages, including English, with over a thousand programs available to choose from. So the universities of Helsinki, Aalto, Turku, Paulo, and Tampere rank among the best Finnish universities in the world. To study in Finland as an international student, students always would have to adapt to the environment pretty much quick. When contemplating the low tuition in universities in Finland, it is critical to investigate and analyze the various alternatives to see whether they correspond with your educational and personal goals, particularly those also offering English taught it programs. It is also a good idea to look at the cost of living so you can arrange your budget properly. However, no. So non-EU or EEA students, which are students who do not belong in the European Union, the European or the economic area, would be required to pay tuition. Also, they are able to apply for a range of scholarship opportunities which are offered by the universities. So when it comes to the cheapest universities in Finland, there are quite a number of them. So let's just go and take them one after the other. So there is the first one, the Konya University of Applied Sciences. This is one of the Finland's cheapest institutions for overseas students. It is one of the Finland's major providers of work specialties. Generally, the university provides courses, social work, healthcare, and so on. Average tuition fee actually ranges from 6,000 euros per year. Next is the Kayani University of Applied Sciences. This is located in Kayani, which is a small town in central Finland. Various degrees are including bachelor's and master's degree, but their focus also is around international business, sport and leisure management, tourism and sports business, among As others. And the average tuition in this institution is ranging from 6,000 euros per year. Next is the Novia University of Applied Sciences. So at this university, which is spread over four locations in Western Finland, it has got a range of English taught programs, notably in the subjects of technology and engineering. 
So the average tuition ranges from 6,000 euros per year. So next is the Senayoki University of Applied Sciences. And at the Senayoki University of Applied Sciences, which is one of the low-cost higher education institutions in Finland, it is located in, this, in the town of Senayoki and Ilmahoki. This institution has got four faculties, including business and culture, food and agriculture, healthcare and social work, as well as technology. The average tuition ranges from 7,000 euros per uh, year. Next is the University of Eastern Finland. So the University of Eastern Finland is a low cost choice for overseas students. This institution uh, provides graduate level programs in philosophy, science, health sciences, and business studies. Uh, with collaborations established with 70 universities worldwide, this institution places a major emphasis on international engagement. The average tuition ranges 1,000 euros per year. Next is the Tampere University, which is a new university funded in 2019, just over four years ago. And this university was formed following the merger of the University of Tampere and the Tampere University of Applied Sciences. So Tampere University comprises of the following faculties. And that includes the Information Technology and Communication Sciences, Management and Business, Education and Culture, Medicine and Health Technology, Environment, Social Sciences, engineering, and natural sciences. The average tuition at this institution ranges from 6,000 euros per year. Finally, we're going to talk about the Harlow University of Applied Sciences. And that is also a public university located in the city of Harlow. It offers programs in the field of information technology, culture, business, natural resources, technology, social social services and, and health sciences. Average tuition ranges from 8,000 euros per year. Those are some of the cheapest universities in Finland, particularly for non-EU or non-EEA international students. So if you've got so, a lower budget and you're looking to travel, definitely Finland is a country to look at. And I would say that it is worthwhile because there are also other gains such as the scholarship, the proficiency waiver in some of those universities that you would be getting, which would make your job super easy. So if you find this information really valuable and you're eager for more most updated information and immigration tips to successfully migrate, then kindly like and share our videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to have all our latest videos come straight to you. If you need help with any specifics or individualized services in particular, please feel free to contact us at visitperfinders at gmail.com. We're more than happy to help you create this success story together. Thanks very much for being there and thanks for your support always. Catch you and see you some other time.